Hello there, I'm Sean Greasley and welcome to another edition of our SQL Tutorials. In this tutorial I'll be taking a little look at non-equijoins within the SQL environment. Now we looked at equijoins in the last uh, tutorial. Uh, the difference between equijoins and non-equijoins is that uh, fields within two different tables may have a relationship but no primary keys and common column headers are defined so uh, if we say in our account table we have the account number the customers balance and date of the account opened and in this new table here called interest rate we have different rates of interest this being 0.5, 1, that should be 1.5 and 2 and uh, these are the boundaries of uh, the balances in the accounts in which these interest rates apply so say for example if someone had 76 pounds in their bank account or they've took say they've took a loan of 75 pounds out from the bank now 75 pounds falls between the 50 pounds and 99 pounds and 99 pence uh, range so therefore we'd like to charge an interest rate of 0.5 on their loan now uh, say if someone had uh, 5,000 pounds in their account then theirs would fall in rate category 2% so they get charged 2% on their £5,000 so let's see how we can uh, use a non join to display this information in a more readable format <coughs> so if we select the account number for a certain account from our account table uh, we'd also like to display the balance in the accounts and we'd want to display a new column in our last tutorials uh, called interest now this field will hold the amount of interest that that customer should pay uh, within their balance so balance multiplied by the rate as interest and let's uh, display this rate as a new column as well so we're displaying the account number, the balance of the account the rate applied to that account depending on where it falls in these ranges and we want to display a new column called interest now uh, all these fields are featured within the account and the interest rate tables now this is our non equijoin part here where balance because we're comparing the balances of all the accounts uh, between all of these values so we say where balance between lower and upper this is uh, referring back to our more complex and statement so what this does here in a non-equijoin it compares the balance of every account so if we have an account here it compares it against this value if it's not in between there it will go to the next one if it's not in between there it will go to the next one it's like a for loop it keeps checking until it's within that range then it will go to the next account check 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 if it's found next account check 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 found next account until it's all finished so this is what it's doing it's saying where the balance is between the lower and the upper boundaries so let's execute this and as you can see uh, we have three accounts in our system the first one has a balance of 1789 pounds and 40 pence uh, thus uh, being charged an interest rate of 1.5 that should say and the interest on that account is 894 pounds and 70p uh, second one uh, has a balance of 234.5 interest rate of one interest is that so we're timesing these together to get these values here and the balance of 50 pence which is a rate of nothing so there's no interest at all uh, as you can see it's uh, quite a phenomenal interest rate in our 
uh, account, but this is an example, so you can modify it to your tastes. So that is a little look at non aqua joins within the SQL environment. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, learnt more useful knowledge uh, to back up your SQL. So uh, in our next tutorial, we're looking at self joins within SQL. I've been Sean Greasley, thank you for listening, and good night.